controversial Milchiv complex at Chivan Road, Tobago is expected to see its first set of occupants in October. A news release issued by the Division of Infrastructure, Quarries and the Environment on Tuesday confirmed this. It stated that the licensing department would be the first set of THA employees to, to occupy the building. Patricia Nicholson has more. The Eco-Industrial Development Company of Tobago, EID Cut, has been tasked with sourcing an appropriate contractor to treat with the retrofitting, partitioning and electrical works on the ground floor of the Milshoof complex. This as workers from the licensing department are expected to occupy the building in October. The Division of Infrastructure Quarries and the Environment says the tendering process for a contractor to do the works will commence on August 11th. But while administrative services would be relocated to the complex, inspection and testing would remain at the Shaw Park offices. The division says restoration work to offices at Shaw Park is now 97% completed. The $143 million Milshiv project was stalled by a court action by former Attorney General Alan Ram Logan while he was in office in 2012. Mr. Ram Logan had filed a civil proceeding against the THA requesting a judicial review of the decision to enter into a bold arrangement with Milshiv Properties Limited to build the complex on 12 acres of land at Shivan Junction. THA won the matter. Mr. Ram Logan withdrew his application and the project was launched on December 12, 2013. The building was handed over to the THA on March 2016 and they have been paying a $1.3 million lease since then. I'm Patricia Nicholson for C News.